What's it like being home, away from the villa, all those beds, Millie, you mentioned that. You're not waking up with 50 people around you. I know, it's really, it's actually really nice just to have your own space. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I kind of miss the islanders. It's like, I don't know, it just feels like a little bit empty without them, especially coming fresh from the finale. You kind of want to be around everyone. It's like, I think you've just gotten used to them and their company. Like, I can't imagine like being with anyone else, you know? Yeah, slowly but surely adjusting back to life in the real world. It is, it's just, it's crazy. Social media is going insane. The DMs are popping, the messages are popping, the lives, the stories, it's just, it's so much to kind of receive all at one time, but it's been good, it's been good. We've been just appreciating all the supporters and focusing on all the positive energy. Asad, you mentioned that Millie was going to spend a couple of weeks in Johannesburg. So, is that still the plan? Uh, yes, that is definitely still the plan. Hey, he's, yeah, he's coming to Cape Town first, though. So we're going to do Cape Town first, then we're going to do Johannesburg. But we're going to do a bit of a competition to see who can um, show each other the better time in their hometown. It's nice because Millie doesn't really know Joburg. I do know Joburg. She says she knows I know Joburg. I don't know anything about Cape Town. So she's giving me a great experience if I come to Saturday. Mm. I'm saying if she's in Joburg. So we're excited. I'm going to convince him to stay. Hi, Timna and Levo. Take us through your emotions when you were there on stage with Leanne, Asad and Millie at your side or by your side, and you were top two. I think we've been very, you know, um, steadfast and very calm throughout the whole experience. I think we ground each other a lot and we kind of, you know, we live in the moment, we take it for what it is and we have such great values um, um, between us and I think, yeah, we ground each other a lot. And I think um, a lot of people can see it mm. through our journey and how yeah. we've been. We've just been very focused on each other, very focused on um, keeping each other grounded and just being the support for each other. Ross and Tanya, this genuine, uh, I can't even put it into words. So you guys, please take it away. Say in words. <laughs> I've been trying to articulate and describe this relationship for so long and I just can't seem to get it right. It's so deep and it's so emotional and it's like we understand each other to the point where we can literally just finish each what, other's sentences, exactly. know what you're thinking. Yeah. There's been so many times where it's just, I know what you're thinking, you know what I'm thinking, we're moving. Exactly. So we're on the same page, like basically all the time. Same wavelength. And Millie, we saw you blossom grow from being this carefree girl to becoming the strong woman You're still carefree but very assertive so please uh, take us through your journey and how that heartbreak with you know who contributed to all of that so as Asad said like I came into love violence with this preconceived idea that okay maybe it won't be the first guy maybe it'll be the second guy um and I got into Love Island and I promise you, I went in with confidence. And that first week humbled me. I was like, this is really hard. Like, it was it was tough that first week, just trying to make connections. I made me the dribbler. Yeah, he called me the dribbler. He actually tuned me on the first week. Just uh, seeing every little piece of every guy. Just, I was just chatting. I was chatting. So then I coupled up with Jay. And you know when someone is like so nice and like so the guy that you should be dating? That was Jay, but there was just no spark. And I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of like drawing at nothing. So then I decided to just take a risk, go for Xavier, I found him hot. I was like, why not, Billy? YOLO. <laughs> and then yeah, Xavier and I had a villa ship thing and obviously said he loved me on a recoupling. And then I went out the next day and I just had a gut feeling. I was telling everyone about my gut feeling, literally. And then I got back and had another gut feeling. And obviously I just heard that he was in Smushka and we ended, everything he said to me was lies. He was false. Um, and yeah, obviously just in the moment, it sucked, but I just realized that I'm going to be sad. I sort of like took all these emotions and I let it come to the surface and I accepted them. I wasn't in denial that I'm not going to be sad. I wasn't in denial that this sucks. And Xavier, you formed a connection with Millie and that turned sour and yes oh. you revealed your feelings for her and then 
it changed. It, it seems like it changed very quickly. So could you take us through that? It wasn't that quickly. It was actually, come. it was like before Mishka even came, I already felt a certain way. And I told the side, like, I don't, I don't know, I'm not feeling it that much. I don't feel in love. This just feels like a like a friend connection, like a best friend connection. And I felt like it wasn't the relationship wasn't challenging at all. I wasn't challenged and being kept on my toes. And that I just wasn't getting that familiar. And then when she came in, she was very mature and all that stuff. Uh, and I just felt like she can change my life. And she did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Libo, you formed quite a lot of bromances and then you were very close with Chris, right? Yeah. So I guess a lot of people would like to know why vote him out when he was your mate? Oh, I'm quite shocked that a lot of people don't know why I, I chose to save Xavier. Mm. Um, I did make it very much apparent in my speech that Xavier was in a stronger couple, especially judging by the time that they've worked and built what they've mm. built. So it would have really been unfair to stop their journey compared to what Kitty and Chris had. You know, mm. Kitty and Chris had a strong connection, but it wasn't half as much what Mishka and Xavier had. And I feel like if we were to keep Chris and Kitty, it would have just been me trying to win this prize instead of really the couple that deserves to stay staying. So yeah, that's where it really it, it came from. That's where the decision came from. It Sometimes had, you have to make tough decisions, yeah. even if it's against people that you care about. Mm. It's just trying to do the right thing. And yeah. he, he obviously felt like Michigan Xavier. Tanya, what was it like when Ross initially was into Tyler and maybe you, and then comes Darnay and maybe you? So being <laughs> on the fence what was that like for you your emotions because you had a poker face but i saw in your mm. conversation with timna you really really you took it quite badly mm -hmm. um the whole poker face thing it wasn't even a poker face it was more empathy because mm. i understood the positioning and i understood how complicated it is to kind of make decisions in the villa it's so hard to make decisions because whatever decision you make you have to be faced with that decision and if you make the wrong decision it's so hard to kind of switch up why everyone will think you're switching up so it is just it's very tricky it's very tricky being in an uncertain position in the villa we need to talk about this aside i mean erin brought out a side of you that we haven't seen after that you were explosive. Yes. So how did you get to that point? So my, I, I never ever wanted to be aggressive. I'm not the type of person that's an aggressive person. I'm very chill. I take situations very lightly and I'm never ever trying to get into any arguments. Uh, before, prior to the show, I, I was very scared of any kind of conflict. And the show definitely helped me just take an opinion, stand with it and justify why. So, so I'm very grateful for that sense. Um, but for me, the, the Aaron situation, it was just, she, she would play the victim and I really didn't like that. Um, she'd be wrong in situations and still try and play the victim. And I don't necessarily think she was a bad person. I generally just think emotionally, she wasn't mature enough to handle situations on the show. So Timna, what are some of the lessons that you realized or learned on the show? I realized I'm very, I can be very vulnerable and be very comfortable in, you know, being vulnerable. Um, whereas before, um, I would never want to be vulnerable. I would just, you know, want to be closed off. I would always want to be in control of the situation. And, you know, I wanted to kind of always be in control of how someone else reacts to my feelings and my vulnerability. And I learned that I could just I trust someone with my feelings and trust that they won't make me feel bad about feeling a certain way. And I think you did that so perfectly, babe. You, um, you were kind of very tender with my feelings mm. and you were very protective over me. And even when I maybe made you upset, yeah. you were still able to show that empathy with me mm. and you know, kind of take care of my feelings as well. Yeah, I tried to make sure that her feelings, she knows that her feelings are valid, no matter mm. how unnecessary I might find them. You know, there's a reason why she feels a certain way about them. So, mm. yeah. And Xavier, could you tell us why it was so important for you to just get that out of the way, that whole, you might not be able to be 
uh, to live the kind of lifestyle that you think maybe Mishka lives, all of that topic that you introduced on the show, which was important. Why did you go there? I just felt like I had just to tell her. I don't want to be, I don't want to be someone I'm not. And then it comes to the relationship and they're like, ah, I thought you could, I thought you're going to do this, I thought you can do that. So she can fly whenever you want to. I don't have that, I don't have the facilities for that. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know, it's just a fear of mine because we was, we're so close. I just didn't want to lose that all because of something stupid. And even though we are, we do live different lifestyles, I do want, a, like, I want a luxury lifestyle for us both, which means that we both need to work for where we want to be because I know that Xavier wants the same thing. Of course. Let's talk about the good stuff. So your favorite <laughs> challenges, Let's highlight moments, all those amazing, funny, good stuff that we didn't get to see. We had so many fun challenges. The challenge we won was super fun, the communication one. Sure. I think we didn't get a single thing wrong in that communication challenge. Not at all. Yeah, no. I mean, those challenges were fun. They were great. Mm -hmm. The communication one, um, even the, what was it, the driving one? That was good. The one where you had to fight in the goo yeah. and find the things. That was so Slide. much fun. And for you, Libo? My favorite challenge was definitely backseat driver. It was so funny for for me to see how stubborn Timna is. Um, you know, I would tell her, turn left, and she went straight. And I was like, ah, there's no way. There's no way this is me. It's literally her. And <laughs> she, it's her being stubborn. So yeah, it was nice, you know, to, and it had, uh, and it exposed everyone's different personalities. Yeah, it you know, really showed did. how calm Ross is, you know, yeah, 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 yes, I am. Yeah. Showed how Asad can get, you know, frustrated. Yeah, Asad can get <laughs> impatient. Uh, <laughs> and it showed how Xavier's, like, I uh, guess, technical with it because he yeah, was doing yeah, yeah. 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and whatnot. So, yeah. yeah, for me, it just showed how stubborn my goal is. And, and yeah, to and the, how I think I know things, yes. even without seeing them. Yeah, she thinks yeah. she knows everything. <laughs> so, that was very funny for me to, to see and to see our passion throughout. Even when we won, we were still disappointed in each other. We're like, we could have done better. We could have yeah. done better than four minutes, three seconds and whatnot. Yeah. So yeah. That, I think that's where I come, yeah. I, you know, us being competitive. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, we should have done better. Yeah, so yeah, that was my favorite challenge by far. Asad Millie. Ooh, my highlight. Definitely making this good looking woman my girlfriend. It was so cringe. I know. Um, <laughs> but also the goat question for me will always be uh, The guys will only understand. No one else will ever question. understand. Um, but also the dates we went on, I feel like they were all highlights mm -hmm. to me. Beautiful dates, beautiful scenery, beautiful views, amazing company. Um, yeah, that's kind of my highlights. What does the future look like? We'll start with you, Timna. We're taking it definitely one step at a time, yeah. one hour at a time. Yeah. Here. And just, you know, trying to see, you know, what are the factors we need to consider? Mm -hmm. um, what's the next step? How are we going to do it? We're when we're going to do yeah. it and you know what's just best for all of us and you know just yeah but the thing the thing we're trying to accelerate as fast as possible right now the process of us moving in together we need to sort that out because the thought of not waking up next to her kind of hurts and yeah we need to eradicate that quickly yeah and Basically. if we started out already yeah. had, having moved <laughs> yeah we moved in together. together in the villa so yeah. Anything outside of that would feel like a regression. Yeah, yeah. yeah so um, we still want to move forward. So yeah, that's one of my highest priorities at the moment. What's next for us and Tanya? I think that we're in a space where so much happened in the villa mm -hmm. that jumping into a relationship right now would be the worst decision <laughs> right it now. After everything that went down, I think we also need to just kind of break down everything that went down and understand what went down and understand what didn't work. Because yeah. there's a reason why things are so shaky between us as well in the villa. So 100%. we need to understand that as well before we just jump into a relationship. Yeah. So I think we're just trying to focus on our individual growth, focus on that, and also focus a lot on the friendship. And then, you know, we never know, we never know never what happens know. after that. And Asad Mili, what does the future look like for the two of you? Is a YouTube channel in the works? I didn't think, no. <laughs> we were literally just speaking about this. We were literally speaking about that now. 
Yeah, I guess the side can feature on my channel if he's cool enough. I'm going to start my own channel. It's fine. We'll overtake each other. Okay, we'll, we'll do a bit of a competition, yeah. But we said we want to do podcast. Before. Yeah, we want, to get a, we want to get a podcast going um, and also a YouTube channel. Um, we want to get a cat. No. Yes. A dog. Um, a cat. And then, yeah, just, you know, create together. We want to get our bodies back. We want to get him shape again. Love Island snacking on that show. What is yeah, Love yeah. That's a, that's a <laughs> it, it was bad, guys. So we definitely want to do fitness together. Um, and yeah, just like, I think just do normal life. And Tanya, are we going to be seeing Ross on your YouTube channel? Yes! We're actually making a, a video very soon reacting to all the um, like hate comments because some of them are so funny. There's so <laughs> many funny memes and I find them hilarious. I'm very entertained by them. So we're going to make a whole video reacting and also like letting people have a more in-depth understanding of us. For I sure. Guess. For yeah. sure. And for you, Mishka, is there a YouTube Hi. channel in the works? Yeah. That would be fun. I just uh, know. No, the DM me. The fan DM me. So you can start a YouTube channel. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the link down below. Click it. In which link in my <laughs> but yeah, I'd love to do YouTube. <laughs> but I want to take pictures. Like, oh, I think we're so aesthetic. We're very aesthetic. That's I'm what I really want to do. Like, I want to take content, really unique content together. And my mom said that people like me so much they want me to be on another show. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. much. You too. Have a great day.